I can't beat a tambourine. I've never shouted, not even once. I don't look good in hats. My natural hair just isn't conducive to that. But still, somehow, my crown of glory is tailor-made for me. Taylor Gray, Christian Gray, Christians raised to love a God great enough to exist today and big enough to be in my show Baraka and your Shirley Caesar and intelligent enough to create them both. He has created praises infinite enough to match his matchless glory, a match lit a flame inside of me burning up with that Holy Ghost and fire, convicting me to go tell it on the mountain how great thou art and every other hymn about him written before I was born. As the future strings along, our roots dig deeper, so I can sing along with church mothers and rappers, in love with the music that made me, and the music made today. I was born into Twinkie and raised in Tadashi, my Yada, Toda, and coming in a Honda, produced by both, and a twinkle wells up inside of me at the sound of a Hammond B3 and MIDI beats. Jesus meets us all at the well, aware of our flaws that didn't disappear with running water, and offers us life, unfiltered, yet sparkling with the fullness of his glory. But it's hard to take sips when judgment drips from your lips. Yeah, it's hard to love Jesus when you tell me I'm loving him wrong, as if our hearts slipped from the hands of an infinite God as soon as cell phones slipped into ours. I can slip into hours of worship just like Carl and Katie and Lovey and James, 1967, 17, and 17 again. If God reigns forever in both directions, how could the timeline end here? He still holds our hearts with the same blood-stained hands that took clay and molded Adam and Jesus and C.H. Mason. So while C.H. hastened to the cross, his transfusing power gives me hope because he knew it was the blood for me. A sanguine salvation sent by a savior, sentient of the salience of our souls. I am just as sold out as Hezekiah in 2008 and 1 Kings 18, just as sold out as the builders of 1917, just as sold out as Romans 1.16, and grateful for a church where my soul first cried out for the living God when I was 15. So no, I can't beat a tambourine. I've never shouted, not even once. I don't look good in hats. My natural hair just isn't conducive to that. But still, somehow, my crown of glory is tailor-made for me.